Ladies and gentlemen, if you were too busy watching the Duke Blue Devils win the national championship, hell, I know the MLB's back in town, or you're trying to catch up on your NBA and NHL knowledge before the playoffs start in a couple weeks, I'm going to be talking briefly on what happened on Raw. I'm not going to really go into too much detail as to what happened, but I'm going to give you guys a brief overview. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. This is just so that you guys um, who did watch the national championship, or you guys are watching baseball or something, you guys kind of get a feel as to what happened. So you guys aren't necessarily left out uh, next week. I'm not going to go too, like I said, not go too much into detail. So uh, pretty much if you missed Raw tonight, here is what you missed. WWE confirms that Roman, or I'm sorry, excuse me, Randy Orton will be fighting Seth Rollins for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at Extreme Rules. If you did not watch SmackDown on Thursday, which when they already when they announced that this match will be happening, they wasted an entire three hour show pretty much confirming that fact. They had a triple threat match between Orton, Ryback, and Roman Reigns. The winner fought Seth Rollins for the belt. Uh, the 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 winner will fight Seth Rollins for the belt at Extreme Rules, and in a match that was extremely, extremely, extremely rushed and very sloppy. Randy Orton ends up pinning uh, Ryback and ends up getting the win. He will be fighting Seth Rollins, but that did not stop Seth Rollins from hitting the curb stomp on Randy Orton and standing tall to end the show. So the champ finally stands tall, and it's about time that the champ actually looks strong after WrestleMania because he looked like an absolute bitch last week, so... Um, kind of, I'm pretty damn excited to see what Seth Rollins and Randy Orton have in store for us at Extreme Rules, and it looks like that feud's going to be kind of continuing, uh, for the time being, now that Brock is not going to be on TV, and it looks like WWE's going to be trying to take a step away from ma the, uh, Making Roman Strong movement. Um, John Cena, John Cena, John Sheena. The United States champion making his open challenge of the week, he did the same thing last week, Dean Ambrose came out, um... To, well, to some surprise, and this week uh, we got Stardust. We got Cody Rhodes, um, and I'm not. I mean, I'm a I'm a good I'm a big fan of the open challenge uh, idea. I just don't like the fact that John Cena is cutting promos on Rusev and saying that he is going to beat Rusev for the United States Championship at Extreme Rules. Again, confirming something that we already know, but not giving any sort of hope to his opponent whatsoever. So it's taking two steps forward and developing a mid card, but one step back, just absolutely, just basically feeding guys to Cena. And speaking of feeding guys to Cena, this match was not nearly as good as the one that Cena had with Ambrose last week. Uh, Cody did kind of look strong at some points, but it did not stop John Cena from getting the win after uh, his springboard stunner, which apparently has become uh, a staple in the John Cena character because, you know, he, he likes to take aerial risks every now and then. And uh, ends up hitting an FU, ends up getting the victory, so... Uh, and now the commentator said that Rusev's cashing in his uh, his rematch clause, so he's going to be fighting uh, John Cena for the United States Championship at Extreme Rules in Chicago, Illinois in just a couple of weeks, which I hope to be going to. I have no f details as to if I am going to that, but I will definitely keep you guys posted on that. Let me breathe for just a second because for some reason I think I'm a reporter when I do these videos. Whew. <sighs> No sort, uh, no sight of the Intercontinental Champion Daniel Bryan tonight. Maybe um, still selling that beatdown that he took from Sheamus and Bad News Barrett last week. Uh, if you just because I didn't review or just because I didn't do a hashtag spoilers episode last week did not mean SmackDown did not happen. SmackDown did definitely happen, and uh, Daniel Bryan was busted open and took a pretty damn nasty bump after Sheamus uh, kind of knocked him off the apron. Bad News Barrett knocked him out with the bad uh, the bull hammer, and that was all said and done. Speaking of Sheamus, Sheamus established himself as a real badass now, and uh, Mark Henry of all people, the uh, the Roman Reigns dick licker came out and. Sheamus basically made him his bitch, and in a big remake of what we saw in in 2011, um, except now the tides are switching. I'm calling it right now. Sheamus will probably be fighting John Cena for the United States Championship somewhere down the line. Um, and keep this video uh, somewhere in in a playlist or something so you guys can and favorite this for reference because I'm 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 calling it right now. I'm the first one on here to call it. Sheamus fighting John Cena for the United States Championship. 
um, maybe around SummerSlam or something like that. Uh, if WWE does not go the way of um, combining the belts for uh, SummerSlam, which a lot of us have been rumor, uh, have been hearing through the grapevine and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, like I said, no sight of the IC champion. Um, the Divas Championship was, or well, shit, it was the Bellas versus uh, Paige and Naomi. I didn't watch it in any way whatsoever. I was too busy watching the Duke Blue Devils beat the Wisconsin Badgers. Uh, congratulations to Coach Cage, a little Okafor, Quinn Cook, uh, Justice Winslow, and all those guys. And um, all Duke fans out there, I know I was in a I was in a review with some Duke fans last week that I'm probably going to be getting uh, quite the reaming for once I get back on Twitter now. But uh, let's try and stay on here as long as we can so that I can avoid that ass whooping, huh? You know exactly who you are. But um, well, to be honest with you guys, there really wasn't anything else too much worth noting. I mean, you got we got the match with. Uh, Seth Rollins and Adrian Neville, which I thought was pretty damn good. I would love to see them just in a 60-minute Iron Man match next week. And before, because apparently the IWC is confused with, 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 and I, I, by IWC, I mean the, the real, the smarks and everything like that, who don't know what the word buried means. If you don't know what it means, don't say it because you sound like a jackass when you do. Adrian Neville was not buried tonight, people. He was not buried tonight. He did not lose any sort of momentum whatsoever in my eyes. Honestly, it was done to make the champion look strong. And Adrian Neville, he's still over with the damn crowd. He's still over with the damn crowd. He may have lost the match, but he won the crowd over. Why the fuck? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? He doesn't need to be beating the champion. The champion already looks weak as shit because you look look at what happened last week, running away from Roman Reigns and, and Randy Orton and Ryback last week. It's about damn time Seth Rollins looks strong to end a fucking show for once, but I'm sorry. This just something I had to get off my chest. But like I said, a pretty damn good match uh, for what it was worth. And like I, for some reason, WWE seemed like either, it's one, something was missing, and two, WWE knew that there were, they had no competition whatsoever with the National Championship game or with the MLB or if there are any NBA games on tonight or any NHL games on tonight. They knew that they couldn't compete with jack shit, nothing in real sports for some reason. But honest to God, I don't like making my reviews this short, but there was nothing else really to talk about. I mean, uh, we got uh, hints at a New Day heel turn. We got hints at a Kane face turn. Um, the sighting of Brad Maddox, who is not dead. Um, and that's about it. Honest to God, that's about it. Oh, we have the, we have an irrelevant battle royal next week to determine who's going to be fighting Nikki Bella for the damn, uh, Divas Championship, if anybody cares. So, any of you give Divas a chance, people out there who are still with the, who are still with it because AJ's gone now. Um, you know, you have something to look forward to for next week, I guess. So... Uh, God, I'd rather listen to Eva Marie give a U.S. history lesson. Anyway, with that being said, I think I am out. Um, that is your brief overview of what happened on tonight's episode of Raw that took place in Austin, Texas, if you guys were not aware. Next week, WWE is in the U.K. Usually, this is, they go on their, uh, their, their tour, usually two weeks after WrestleMania, where they go into the U.K. Uh, so you know that one diva in particular, is going to be getting quite the reaction. Uh, well, then again, one diva and one superstar, you guys know exactly who those are. Let's just say they're former divas and IC champions. You guys know exactly who they are. But I think with that being said, I'm out. Perry the Entertainer. Well, actually, you guys go follow me on Twitter at the PVE Show. We live chat during Raw Smackdown. Pay reviews and all sorts of that stuff. Da, da 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 You already know all that stuff. Go down and subscribe if you have not done so already. So uh, you're updated with all of my uh, blunder and all sorts of stuff like that. For some reason, I just wanted to use the word blunder in this review somehow. Again, congratulations to the Duke Blue Devils and the Duke fans that I know tons of them. My dad is one. Um, I got quite a following on on Twitter that are Duke fans. Um, So congratulations to all you guys. Um, It was a well-deserved championship and... uh, Yeah, that ends the season of the NCAA March Madness, and this ends my review. So on that note, actually, one thing before 
uh, we go, and it has to do with hashtag spoilers. I know I did not post one last week, but there will be one posted this week. But, and only, but actually, you know what? We're 10 minutes in the damn review. I don't know how long this is going to be, to be honest. I have no set time as to how this is going to end. So if you made it this far into the review, say, uh, tweet, go, or I'm sorry, not tweet, uh, comment, go Duke, go, if you've made it this far into the review. Now, I have to do with hashtag spoilers. Um, <clears throat> I did not post one last week. For some reason, I just wasn't in the mood. I just wasn't in the mood to post videos at all last week. Um, but this week, this week, hashtag spoilers is going to be late. It's going to be on Wednesday this week because tomorrow is a v- I'm going to take a personal day. Um, something happened uh, on this day last year that I really don't want to get into. Um, so I do want to take kind of a personal day next week. I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, but I will be back uh, strong on the 8th to give you guys your hashtag spoilers um, because I know you, go- you guys just love that. You guys just love that show. But um yeah, like I said, I gotta I just wanna I just need to take a personal day for tomorrow. It's just it's something it's it's a family matter, that's all I gotta say. But I think on that note I'm out. Perry the Entertainer sign out. Peace.